Hello, my name is Caden. This is Castle Tulage, your home defense network. Today's topic is uh, traveling with your handgun or a rifle, I guess. Um, I'm going to be sticking more towards uh, the handgun uh, aspect. Um, traveling with your handgun through air, uh, airports, airplanes, that kind of thing. And after this experience, and this was my first experience doing it, after this experience, this is an absolute no-brainer. This is something that you shouldn't be intimidated about. All you have to do is fall. Um, a, a couple of a few rules and you just go from there it was such an, an easy experience that this is absolute no-brainer if you have a CCW and you're going to a state that um, um, that you can go to uh, with your CCW this is an absolute no-brainer what you're going to be doing I'm going to be giving you some general guidelines again um, do not this is just for general information do not go by what I tell you because it could be out, this video could be outdated or whatever. However, I will put um, a link of the TSA underneath um, uh, this video so you can go there and uh, see exactly what you, you, the requirements are for uh, traveling with your handgun. Okay, it is an absolute no-brainer. This is you know I live in the state of California and traveling with your gun in your car is about the same as what you have to do so to me I, I I do it you know two or three times a month anyway so it's an absolute no-brainer okay um, again this is directly out of the TSA uh, travelers must declare the firearm um, to the airline during the, uh, the ticket counter check-in process the firearm must be unloaded the firearm must be in a hard shell container I'm going to talk a little bit about the hard shell container this is a bulldog um, container it is uh, designed very nice and easy okay um, I can fit uh, two handguns in here I, uh, I travel with my Ruger LCR 357 and my CZ 2075 chambered and 40 Smith & Wesson now um, some airlines well the, the TSA also and I haven't read it here but the last time I read it um, you can carry you can travel with your the, the gun that your your um, your gun came in the case that your gun uh, I can't talk right now the case that your gun came in you can you can travel with it however if you can open it up just a little bit of a crack um, what I read last time I haven't found it here so I don't I'm not exactly sure to remember where I read it from uh, if you can open it a crack and still touch it um, or get to it um, uh -uh, you've got to st uh, stay clear away from that so it has to be locked and you would not be able to open it up um, like m all my all my plastic cases that um, uh, my guns were bought from um, can, you know falls that uh, that little scenario okay um, well here it is uh, lock cases that can be pulled open with little effort cannot be brought aboard the aircraft boy that's a simple way of saying what I just tried to explain to you in the last minute or so if the firearms are not properly declared or packaged the TSA will provide a bag to law enforcement to resolve the the, uh, the issue with the airline if the issue is resolved law enforcement will release the bag back to TSA to screening uh, for the screening to be completed TSA must resolve all alarms in checked, uh, checked luggage if the lock container contains a firearm alarm TSA will contact the airline uh, who will make the res responsible uh, attempt to contact uh, the owner and if they don't contact you they're going to break it open <laughs> okay um, travelers should remain in the area uh, while this is being take, uh, taken care of uh, travelers must uh, securely pack any ammunition in fiber such as cardboard wood or metal boxes or other packets specifically designed to carry small amounts of uh, firearms ammunition what I did is I just used my uh, my ammunition box that is perfectly acceptable for for what we need to uh, we need to do um, and actually I kind of cheated and I put my uh, 40 Smith & Wesson in my uh, 357 um, excuse me my 38 P plus P uh, Underwood box and I just kept everything in there so I didn't have to have a couple of boxes uh, that I was traveling with um, um, firearm magazines and ammunition clips may be securely um, must be securely boxed and included within the hard uh, side of the case containing the unloaded firearm. I must admit this is something that I little I, I missed uh, because this box is a little bit tight. I couldn't have both of my magazine clips in there with the gun, so I had one of the magazine clips 
um, in one of the empty magazine clips in um, th this. However, what I did is I put my uh, my second um, uh, clip or uh, magazine. <laughs> Whew. I put my second magazine in my uh, magazine holder for my CCW um, in, inside the waistband um, holder, and uh, I just had it in a um, uh, my suitcase, and that didn't uh, set any alarms off. Um, now, when you're going through, the, every airline has its its very specific rules, and I'm not. I'll just go over a couple of general ones. It's going to be. Um, you know, specific to destination. If you go there, um, it has to be under 11 pounds worth of ammunition. Um, no shotgun shells. Um, uh, under 75 uh, uh, caliber uh, is is not allowed on airplanes. So you really need to, if you're packing a little bit more of a punch, and if you're going to go after uh, elephants in South Africa or whatever, um, that is something that you're going to have to really take a look at. Uh, the other requirement for, uh, well, the hard side. Now, United Airlines actually required that your suitcase be hard sided, where U.S. Air did not have that requirement. Um, so that's something that you really need to take a look at. That is all the, the physical things of it. Now, the information that you're going to actually need to do is th there are several different resources that you need to start looking at. USA Carry. For handgun laws, it's going to give you a very good starting point for um, what you you really need to know about uh, other laws um, in other states. I would physically go to uh, the agency in that state that handles the uh, the CCW laws, and you really need to bone up on that. You also need to go to the NRA. NRA has uh, travel warnings uh, for people who are traveling with their gun. If you are flying through or to the New York uh, airports, the New Jersey airports, Albany, if you fly through those airports, the uh, NRA has warned people that uh, go through different cities if you have connections because what they have done in the past is pull people off of airplanes and arrest them for having a declared handgun in your, your possession. Now, it's funny that the NRA hasn't said anything about Chicago. However, you know something, if Chicago could be avoided, why not? Um, Chicago is a crappy airport anyway, um, so why even bother with that, okay? Um, this is the, uh, the uh, declare. Um, th all you do is once you go up to the counter, just say, I'd like to declare a firearm. They're going to be giving you one of these uh, um, uh, tags, and you just read it. Basically, just what I, I, I got done talking about. You're going to sign it, and then you're going to be putting it um, in one of these boxes. Now, what I strongly suggest, if you, if you have a, a gun vault like this, is when you are packing your suitcase, make it available for you to get at because you're going to have. To, they're going to make you open up your suitcase at the ticket counter, and then they're going to want you to open this up. It, it's kind of interesting that they <laughs> they want you to open this up in public with other people. And I try to shield it um, where people want to take a look at it, and it, it just became very easy. Now, this one particular one also can attach to your suitcase, and that's exactly what I did, is I attached it to, to my suitcase if I do have any uh, problems with it. Um, so I'm just going to wrap this up real quick. It's very easy. This is a no-brainer kind of a thing. Uh, this is something that you shouldn't be intimidated at all. Um, it's very seamless and smooth. Um, watch, someone's going to say, oh, it's not very seamless and smooth, I have this. Well, I'm, I'm sure there are incidences out there that aren't seamless and smooth, but my experience on, on three uh, legs was seamless and, and, and smooth. Um, so you, you need to go to the TSA website, and I'll have the link. You're going to have to go to your specific airline that you're going. You need to go to usacarry.org and uh, bone up there. You're going to have to go to the states that you're, you're looking for and bone up on the laws. Also go to the NRA uh, website and um, um, see what the travel restrictions are and what they, they actually remain. No brainer, traveling with your, your handgun, uh, TSA, whatever. My name is Caden. This is Castle Tulage, your home defense network. I hope this helped.